All right, this is your brother Aisha Yar coming at you with another lesson. First off, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles of the great millstones I learned his truth from, honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing his word to the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity, and shalom to the aqua that's listening and learning. Today's video is gonna be entitled, Esau is exposing himself on purpose, all right? Esau is exposing himself on purpose. Now, I got inspired to do this lesson because of a recent video I uploaded a couple of days ago entitled, Hollywood is exposing themselves more and more, all right? And pretty much within that video, you saw uh, Drake Bell. He was a, a kid superstar or a kid star back in the 90s, early 2000s. He was on that show, Drake and Josh. And uh, pretty much he was exposing how a lot of the people in the industry were pretty much uh, sexually assaulting him as a child. He said he woke up in the middle of his sleep to lewd acts happening to him and everything, all right? And then of course the whole thing with P. Diddy and Meek Mill came out. There's a whole audio out with them doing whatever all kind of news articles with them doing what uh speaking about it trying to deny it all right cat williams coming out of nowhere exposing what's going on in the industry um all kind of things man is, is happening and being exposed when it comes to hollywood and you got to remember man they got a whole and that's another thing they have a whole tv series on uh hbo max or the max whatever you want to call it <laughs> They got a whole TV series called uh, Quiet on the Set, I believe. And it's speaking about the child abuse that was going on back in the, uh, in the 90s and early 2000s as far as Nickelodeon is concerned, all right? Uh, all of the kids stars were going through a lot of crazy things, man, early, early. And I remember um, probably like 10 years ago, the black chick, they used to act on that show all that she was with a, one of the, was one of the first ones to come out and say all of the things that was going on behind the scenes and how she was uh getting mistreated and everything but she couldn't really speak on it and back then people were saying that oh she's crazy or this is a conspiracy theory or whatever the case may be now fast forward about 15 20 years later here we are and all of these things are coming out about Hollywood. But like I said, you gotta remember, man, this is not a thing where these celebrities is, you know, finally decided to man up or they can have a conscience and now they just wanna come out and start saying shit. A lot of them probably do wanna come out and expose what's going on to them in Hollywood. They probably do. But at the end of the day, you gotta remember, all of these things are on Esau's platforms. Just like that show Quiet on the Set, that's on HBO Max, the app. And you already know who owns these things, man. You already know who owns HBO, Disney, Nickelodeon, all right? Amalek, the small hats, they do. So they're not just gonna, out of nowhere, just be like, oh shit, let's expose, let's allow them to speak on everything that they've been going through in the industry for nothing, all right? Because you gotta remember, this is supposed to be a secret society thing, right? So, if they're letting them put these shows and letting them talk about what's going on to them in the industry, Esau is doing this on purpose. And one of the reasons why I feel like he's doing it is so he can get the people roused up. This is gonna be one of the things where he's gonna uh, mix this in so he can get chaos out of the people, all right? Because you gotta see how Esau set things up since the beginning, I should say, when um, slavery was over. As soon as they ended slavery, <laughs> quote unquote, you know, they came up with uh, these celebrities that came up with TV shows and music and uh, sports and all these different things, man. All right. And back in the day, in the 70s, you know, the, the late 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, early 2000s, things seemed great with America, all right? Everybody was able to travel over here, 
They were able to make money, okay? They were able to have fun. Everybody believed in the American dream. You can listen to music and it was actually good. The movies were actually good to watch. TV shows were great. Everything, the sports was on point back then. Everything. And so Esau used that to draw in the people, which is him being a deceiver, which means he was the devil, all right? So he was deceiving the people back then. He was getting everybody on his side back in the day. So then in the future, he can bring everybody down here, all right? Because the thing is, there's still gonna be a lot of people that has hope and belief in this wicked society. And this is one of the reasons why he's allowing these celebrities to come out and speak on everything that they're talking about. Because he wants everybody to accept wickedness, all right? He wants everybody to accept evil, point blank period. That's why you got certain things going on where uh, you go to children's libraries or you go to the church, uh, schools and they got the uh, letter alphabet community books for children to read talking about, no, no, you're not a male or a female when you're first born. That's just what the outside is. You got to wait until you're at least between the ages of five and 10 to realize what gender you are once you actually have a mind for yourself. That's some bullshit, man. The scriptures say that the most high is not the author of confusion. All right? This is not the, you know, this is Esau doing his bullshit. This is Esau over here making everybody think that, oh man, as long as you feel what you want to feel and do what you want to do, you got to be accepted by everybody. And that's what he's doing when it comes to these celebrities coming out with their stories. Because the thing is, there's actually a lot of people who's out, out there that's talking about, well, they want to hear the whole story when it comes to these kids stars. They like, a lot of people actually like, well, maybe that needed to be uh, done. Maybe it was meant for them to go through these acts or whatever and it was necessary. I'm looking at these comments like, wait, what the fuck? A nine, 10 year old boy or girl is over here getting whatever done to him. And there's a lot of people that has no problem with that, man. That's some bullshit. And one of the things that came up a lot is, is they was like, man, where was the parents at? Where's the parents? And the thing is, a lot of these parents sold their kids out. They already knew what was going on behind the scenes, man. They already knew what was going on. They saw the money that their kids was gonna make and they sold their kids out. Point blank period, man. They was like, hey, they, they didn't say anything, nothing. They saw that their kids was gonna bring them home millions of dollars and they was like, hey, this is gonna better our life. They did not care what happened to their own children, man. And that's why, you know, scriptures say the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Esau is running this bitch way, way, way with, with too much evil, man. Too much wickedness. And like I said, he brought everybody in with good times in the past. Now he's bringing the um, so-called balance. Now he's bringing everybody down in the spirit. The music is whack. The TV shows is whack. Movies are whack. You can't even look at sports and enjoy it anymore because you know it's rigged. All right? All of these things are going on. And like I said, he's putting everybody down in the dumps because in the future, everybody about to start turning on each other because the scriptures say that this place is going to be divided. A kingdom divided shall not stand. It's gonna be a lot of people out here that's gonna start probably going to the streets because even more news articles are gonna come out about these celebrities. A lot more celebrities gonna come out and start saying what's going on with them. And a lot of people gonna be like, man, look, they getting tired of it. Things are gonna happen with the economy. Things are gonna happen with this presidential election that's coming up. It's gonna be a lot of factors that's gonna get people roused up. And people are going to get tired of living in this wickedness, man. And they're going to take it to the streets. We are definitely living in the times of 2nd Edges 15 and 16. We are definitely in those times, all right? 
So you got to remember, man, like I said, if he's allowing these celebrities to do these interviews and then he'll put it on his own platform for everybody to see, you got to think to yourself, why is he allowing this when this is supposed to be things that's secret? These are supposed to be things that's going on behind the scenes that we're not supposed to know about. So why is Esau allowing this to happen? Telling you, man, he's getting ready to get the people roused up, man. And then at the end of the day, he know that he uh, is being exposed, first and foremost, by the Israelites. Because we always searching, researching, bringing out news articles and videos and, and tying in scriptures with them. And he like, damn, we, we, I can't do anything about it because the Internet is destroying them. So another factor could be, too, that he just like, man, fuck it. Just go ahead and, and let people know. He's not going to let people know everything that's going on, of course. But he'll put out just enough information for people to start thinking and getting upset. Because that's exactly what's happening with a lot of people. Everybody talking about, man, their childhood is ruined. They can't look at certain shows anymore the way that they used to. All kind of things, man. All right. But like I always say, it's supposed to be like this. This is the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai exposing them so they can be judged. All right. And like I said, we ain't even seen everything yet. Once we get the new bodies and Yahweh Shai comes back. All right. And then, you know, he he brings this place down. We're definitely going to see everything then because we're going to judge Esau as a nation. We got to judge him as a whole. So we can we're going to definitely see everything that he's been doing so we can judge him correctly. But right now we just seeing little bits and parts, bits and pieces of what he's doing, man. And yeah, it pisses people off. It pisses me off. I'm over here reading articles about Jake going in on Jake. The whole P. Diddy and Meek Mill shit is crazy. You know? Little kids over here don't stand a chance. Little kids over here thinking that, you know, uh, they're good actors and they getting opportunities and they just want to do it as to have fun, man. You know? Next thing you know, they get in the industry and they don't they can't even have a childhood, man. Can't live at all. They get, you know, get in a situation <laughs> just like in that video that Drake, that Drake, uh, Drake Bell came out with. He came out with a music video where literally at the beginning of the video, he's sitting in his uh, celebrity chair with his name on it. And then the producer comes out and it's a big ass fat Esau looking dude. He grabs the little boy hand, which is supposed to be Jake or uh, Drake. And then he takes him in the trailer. And then he closes the curtains and everything, man. That shit pissed me off. I'm like, Esau's the damn devil, man. Esau got to go, man. There's a reason why the scriptures say he's going to be eliminated after a thousand years. You can't exist. You cannot exist, man. You got to get the fuck out. Point blank, period. You're going to serve your slavery. You're going to serve double. You're going to get exactly what's coming to you. Those days going to be long. And then after that, once your thousand years is over, we're going to celebrate for real, for real, man. We're going to throw every single one of you all in that big ass pit. Light y'all ass on fire. It's going to be a beautiful day, man. All right. But I'm going to stop right there. Like I said, I just want to bring that out because like I said, you got, you got to think to yourself, why is Esau allowing himself to bring out certain things that he doesn't want people to know. And there's a reason, man, because he know that his judgment is, 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 is up. He know that he's about to be judged right now, and it's about to be a, a done deal, man. All right? It's about to be a done deal for him. So at the end of the day, look, all we got to do is just wait, pray, and through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, he's going to bring this place down. So I hope this is edifying. So with that, I'm going to say, call Halayim. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of the great millstone, which I learned is truth from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing his word to the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Akwath that's listening and learning. And Yahweh Rod Zan, I'll be back with another lesson. 
Keep pushing, y'all, Sarala. Keep pushing. We almost out of here. Shalom.